modern medicine demands accuracy. And X-ray is one of its precision tools. X-ray must be used with the utmost care, whether for therapy or diagnosis. Where a man's health, even his life, depends upon the accuracy of the operator, there is no room for error. And nowhere is accuracy more important than in the keeping of X-ray records. This, too, is a precision job. Accuracy begins with the filling out of the request, Form 57. Write the patient's name clearly. Include the middle initial. If he has no middle name, write in the word, none. If the patient is from the outpatient department, the doctor should indicate where he's stationed so that he can be reached in a hurry if necessary and reports forwarded without delay. The doctor notes his diagnosis. Then indicates the exact examination to be made. To avoid error, and to save time, the MO signature must be legible. The patient and the request are now taken to the admission desk of the X-ray department. If the patient were more seriously injured, the medical officer, as well as the corpsman, would accompany him. The request is inspected at the admission desk, and the name of the patient and the name of the doctor who ordered the x-ray are carefully verified by the clerk. In routine cases, the requests are brought to the x-ray department in advance, and the patient sent for as work permits. The patient's name, status, and location are entered in a logbook. If the patient were a new case, a technique card would be prepared. However, since this patient has been x-rayed here this year, his card is taken from the file. This card bears his file number and lists any exposures made in the department during the current year. Any cards from previous years will be attached to it. Every patient is given an identifying number which appears on all his records and all X-ray films made on his case. This number is entered in the logbook. The exposure record is a technical guide and record of total exposure. This is important because the cumulative effect of X-ray has to be considered where numerous or repeated examinations are made. Two copies of Form 57 are typed. An additional sheet of carbon is placed on the back and the original request behind this. All three copies are then attached to the technique card. In emergencies, filling out forms need not delay the start of radiography if the correct identification number has been assigned and the nature of the work to be done is known the papers of an emergency patient would follow him into the radiographic room.
In the radiographic room, a technician reads the request carefully and verifies identity. He places the correct lead numbers, date, and side letter in a film marker which serves for immediate and permanent identification. The patient is placed on the table. The technician should have adequate help in moving him, not only to prevent further injury, but to cause as little discomfort as possible and ensure cooperation in the future. The unexposed film in its holder is removed from the transfer cabinet. Holders of this type are called cassettes. They exclude all light and prevent fogging of the film. The leg is placed in position for an anterior-posterior view and steadied with sandbag. A lead plate blocks out the part of the film not needed for this exposure. The film marker is put in place. The part to be x-rayed is measured, for the thickness of the part determines the amount of voltage which must be used. The height and direction of the x-ray tube is adjusted. The exposure factors are set up on the machine and the picture taken. The lead plate is now arranged so that the unexposed part may be used for the next view, the lateral. Exposure factors are adjusted and the second exposure is made. The sandbags and lead plate are removed. film is then returned to the transfer cabinet.
Outpatients and emergency cases are kept in the X-ray department until the film is developed, and it is certain that the pictures are satisfactory. Routine hospital cases, however, such as this one, are returned immediately to their ward. A record of the exposure is entered on the technique card. This should include date, part x-rayed, thickness of the part, kilo voltage, milliamperage, exposure time, distance, ray direction, machine used, whether or not screens were used or the bucky, size and number of films used, and the technician's initials. While the film is being processed in the dark room, the technique card and the request forms are returned to the front office or admission room for filing. Dark room development follows standard procedure. In emergency cases, films may be read immediately after processing and while still wet. This is called the wet plate reading. The medical officer's suspicions have been confirmed. The x-ray shows clearly a break in the small bone of the lower leg. A report of it is made by the Röntgenologist to the medical officer over the telephone or by memorandum. The final and more careful reading must still be made after the film is washed and dried. After the films are washed and dried, they are identified by lead numbers and placed on top of the proper jackets along with the report forms. The films are now ready for interpretation. They are placed in the viewer and the report dictated by the Röntgenologist. Films of special medical interest are noted in an index book and descriptive cards are made out for the anatomical pathological file. The film is now placed in the jacket. Film jackets are put temporarily in a convenient place. The reports are transcribed, after which they are returned to the Röntgenologist for his review and signature. The three copies of the report are finally separated. The typed original is sent to the doctor who requested the x-ray. The first carbon copy goes into a file, arranged alphabetically according to the patient's name. The last copy, which was the original request, is placed in the film jacket. These jackets are now filed with great care. They are arranged numerically according to the patient's file number. They will remain here for a year, after which time they will be placed in the back files according to year and number. Whenever these films become important to a case, which is again being radiographed, they are transferred from the old to the current file, and a note is made on the old jacket to that effect. The technique card is returned to the admission desk to be filed for future reference. A thorough system for handling both equipment and records has been worked out through years of experience in the Navy. Every step in the clerical chain 
demands the same care and precision required in the interpretation of films or in the operation of radiographic equipment. X-ray is one of medicine's finest weapons. Use it accurately. Aim it well. 